Good afternoon, welcome to Johnston Motors. Wanted to do a short walk around video of this 2004 Jeep Wrangler TJ. It is an X trim model in a beautiful Patriot Blue is what they call this color. I love this color, it's one of my favorites on both the TJs and the XJs from that era. Uh, just a really nice pretty darker blue. And speaking of the paint, the paint on this is in outstanding condition. It looks like it's been garaged a lot. Um, obviously I can't prove that, but the paint is in really good shape if you uh, walk around it you'll see there's no clear coat fading um, there's really no like major rock chips rock things that kind of stuff I mean, there's no hail damage there's no there's no body damage or paint fade anywhere you'll see little small things like tiny little nicks and scratches just from 20 years of use you know but um, overall the paint is in really really good shape so it'll got all factory decals on it um, the trim is also in fairly decent shape it looks like it's been touched up before but uh, it's uh, not totally faded out or anything like that. So overall, it's a really, really clean uh, Jeep Wrangler TJ if you're looking for something like this. It does have a, uh, a small lift on it. I'm not sure the exact height. We did not put this lift on it. Um, it was on there uh, whenever it came in. So I believe it's sitting on about a four inch lift. That if I had to guess, it's pretty sure that's what it's sitting on. I don't know the brand of the lift either. These are 35 inch Goodyear Wrangler all terrains. They're in great shape. They're almost like new, so uh, you're good to go on tires if you want to keep this stance. Um, it runs and drives down the road pretty well. I prefer them stock, but um, but it, for a lifted TJ, it does drive really well. So you don't get any, uh, it, you know, it doesn't uh, wander all over the road or anything like that. It does have a few other aftermarket things on here. Uh, front bumper, obviously, is aftermarket. Um, all this stuff is fairly easy to switch back if you wanted to go back to stock or you could just drive it like it is and enjoy it. And with this type of setup, it would be really good to off-road. So if you're looking to do some off-roading, um, I would probably just keep it like this. But uh, if you want to use it more as a daily, I, would, I might go back to stock. But anyways, it's got the aftermarket front bumper. Uh, like I said, aftermarket wheels, bigger tires, 35-inch tires. It does have a, it's wearing a soft top. It's a best top soft top and it is fairly new. I want to say this soft top is only two or three years old. So everything is still clear. You can see out of the windows, it's not torn or faded. You know, these things fade out after 10, 20 years of use. And uh, it's got factory window tint still on it. And uh, let's see what else to, can I think to say about it. Oh, it's got an aftermarket rear bumper, obviously. Aftermarket rear tire carrier. So these big tires, they won't fit on the stock carrier trailer hitch let's take a look inside real quick i'll let you look at the inside like i said overall it's real clean you'll see like i said small little things right here you know um, like i said just general wear and tear this is a totally rust free jeep it spent its whole life in texas frame is outstanding so is the undercarriage it doesn't seem to have been abused or anything like that it has eighty-three thousand miles on it Clean history, clean Carfax, obviously. No wrecks or anything like that. Um, that's always sells clean clean Jeeps. I'll show you the uh, passenger side and I'll start it up so you can hear it. This is Dana, being an X trim, it's a Dana 30 in the front. If you're wondering, and a Dana 35 rear axle. Um, it does have the upgraded 373 gearing, which is nice, especially with these tires. Here's the passenger side. This one's got the command track 4x4 in it. That's the transfer case that's in it. It's kind of hard to see because it's uh, a little dark, but you'll see all the pictures on our website. We took a ton of pictures of this vehicle. Everything works. Stereo is okay. It's aftermarket stereo. It's not great, but it turns on. It works. Um, heat works. AC works. This does, I uh, forgot to mention, this is the 4-speed automatic, so which is kind of nice. I believe 04, which this is an 04, is the first year they started offering the 4-speeds. And um, having that overdrive is really nice. You don't, you're not roaring at 3,000 RPM trying to go down the highway. So, I, I personally like the four speeds a little bit better than the earlier three speeds. Steering wheel is okay. It's got, it's wearing a steering wheel cover. The steering wheel is not like trashed or torn up or anything, but it's starting to go a little bit on the top. And honestly, I've been driving this thing. I probably put about 200 miles on it, and uh, just to vet it out, and uh, it, it was bugging me, so I put a cover on it. But if you don't like it, you can totally take it off. Let me start it up so you can hear it. I'll show you the engine bay. Obviously, it's uh, got the 4.0 AMC 242 cubic inch inline six. That's hot. 
it runs cool it doesn't uh run hot or anything no major mechanical issues engine bay is pretty clean actually we have to clean this engine bay up so that's the way it uh, came to us See this thing starts right up, it purrs and runs really, really good. No knocking or weird noises or anything like that. Let me turn this off so you can hear me talking. There you go, sorry about that. If you have any questions about this Jeep, contact me um, or anybody else that works here. Lauren, Timothy at 940-808-2382. Also check out the, the ton of pictures we took of this on our website, johnstonmotorsales.com. And, uh, or you can reach out uh, to us via email, Facebook, and uh, don't forget to like, tag, and share us on the old YouTube. So click the bell. Anyway, thanks again, y'all. Have a great day.